Okay, before we get into this, I really do want to thank Echo for sending this to me and giving me this opportunity to share what their microscopes have to offer. I'll put their social media links and their website in the description of this video if you're interested in checking them out yourselves. First thing you'll see is the power source for the microscope and the focus control knob, but we can put those aside for now. This next layer will contain your iPad Pro for viewing your specimens and any objectives that you ordered as well. And the final layer will contain the microscope itself. The next thing to do is just screw in any of the objectives that you ordered and then mount the iPad. To mount the iPad, all you need to do is loosen a screw at the very top of the microscope with the tool that was provided in the box. You can then insert the iPad through a slot on the back of the microscope and then retighten the screw to make sure it's set in place. The only thing really left to do is plug in the microscope itself along with the focus control knob and we're ready to go. There is also an ethernet and a USB port, but both are optional. The last thing we need to do is plug in the iPad itself and then download the Echo app. To do this, all you need to do is go to the App Store and type in Echo Pro and then download the app. Now the microscope will be ready to use and I'm going to show you some of the features as well. This is the Echo Rebel. The first thing that I want to show you is that this is technically two microscopes. It's the world's first and only hybrid microscope that can switch between upright and inverted. Right now the microscope is in an upright position, and to invert it all I need to do is unplug it, remove the iPad, flip the system over, and plug the system back in. And that's how you switch between upright and inverted. Not only does this thing just look really cool, but it's also really helps me out with workflow. I can switch between bright field, dark field, and phase contrast all by simply turning this turret to whatever mode I need it for and then matching it to its objective. Now I'm going to show you some of the software capabilities this microscope provides. I'll use some of these images of this Stenter Coruleus to show off some of the software capabilities in the gallery. At the bottom left of the screen you can see that I can choose between length, area, cell count, and a scale bar. As you can see, the length of the center is around 500 microns, or 0.5 millimeters. It also has nine macronuclei, which take up an area of about 500 microns each. I also noticed the scale bar actually scales with the image as you zoom in on them, which I thought was pretty cool. It also has some software capabilities that you can use while you're looking at specimens. You can increase or decrease the intensity of the LED, the brightness, contrast, the saturation, and it even has a white balance feature. There's also high gain and low gain along with being able to zoom in or out to see better details. Now that I've kind of explained what this scope has to offer, I'm going to show you some of the clips that I've been taking with it the past week. This scope really does provide quality videos and images. You can see a lot of the detail and coloration of these blepharisma right here. And I really do like the fact that it provides a really large screen for you to look at your specimens. And not only that, but it's actually reduced eye strain for me pretty significantly. Instead of having to take constant breaks for my eyes, I can now look at samples for hours on end, which has made it so that I can record a ton of content for you guys. This won't be the last video that I make on this awesome piece of technology. Now that I'm also able to use an inverted microscope, it gives me a lot more room to work with bigger specimens. So if that's something that piques your interest, make sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on. I try to upload videos every day through the week, Monday through Friday. But to wrap this up, this microscope has been really awesome to use, and I really can't wait to bring you guys more content with it. This thing really does bring microscopes up to date with modern technology, and I'm super grateful that I was able to show you guys all of this. And make sure to comment below if you have any questions or a suggestion on what I should look at next. That's about it. Thanks for watching.